Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking more about namespaces. Now, if you remember from the previous tutorial, we created this people file right here, people.vb. And inside of it, we created two namespaces. We have namespace other people and namespace friends. And inside each one of these, we have a class called people. And you can see here that we have a class called people right there. Now, the reason that these don't conflict with each other is because we have put them in two different namespaces. So let's go ahead and come over here and we will add a button to our form one. So we'll just make that bigger. Uh, let's find two text boxes. Okay, so we'll bring this button down, we'll put the text boxes right underneath each other, and then we'll label them first name and last name. So for label one, the text is going to be first name, and for label two, the text is going to be last name. So last name okay so now what we'll do is we'll change the text for button one so we'll just click show we'll just type in show friend or let's just do show person and we will set the name values for each of these text boxes so text first name and text last name Okay, so now we'll open up our code for form1.vb, and you can see here that it generates the form1 load event. Now what we need to do is create an object of one of our people classes. Now, for this one, we'll just use the class people from the namespace other people. We could also use the people from the namespace friends. So let's come over here to form1.vb, and we need to create an object of that class. So we will type private, um, person as new and now whenever we're making a new person you can see that the people class is inside of the namespace other people so we have to specify the namespace and then we have to specify the class because we are using more than one namespace inside of our program so I'll come up here and we want to declare person as new other people dot people Okay, so now what we can do is type person dot first name or here. We need to leave that out of there. We need to come to our button one uh, event click. So person dot first name equals text first name dot text and person dot last name equals text last name dot text. And we'll just go ahead and show that in a message box. So we'll type person dot to string. And you can see that we overrided the to string function in each one of these classes so that instead of converting our person object or our people object to a string, it will just return their first name and their last name. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. So here's our first name. Let's shrink this down a bit. So let's just do first name Jim, last name Harris. And we'll just go ahead and click show person. And you can see that we get Jim Harris right here. And he is of type um, people from the namespace other people. So go ahead and uh, if you have some programs that you've already made, you could try uh, organizing your classes inside of namespaces and um, or make this program right here. And once you've done that, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.